You mentioned as well about Cameron McIntosh, and I just I, I've I've watched his uh, the, the documentary the that the BBC did, and you know the the life story and the career so far of of Cameron McIntosh. I mean, a, a powerhouse figure, the man who who's brought many many musicals to life because of his either his own backing or just his hard work and. And you mentioned him quite a little bit, you know, when he approached you and to, to to talk about Javert. But I wanted to know a little bit more of him as as a person, but also as someone who is also the producer and theoretically the boss in some ways. Yeah. Um, well, I suppose people have spoken a bit about Cameron McIntosh much more than I have, but I suppose he... Um, he represents uh, a, a desire, I think, to foreground theatre in this country uh, in a way that not many other people can, can manage or have the sort of imagination to manage. You know, his, his imagination in getting some of these things off the ground and then his, his will and his expertise in, in terms of getting them up, sort of unparalleled, really. That You know, he has... Contemporaries in a, in in a producing department, you know, like uh, I suppose someone like Angela Weber, I suppose, or or Nika Burns, or um, uh, you know Howard Panter, those kind of guys. But yeah, there is a sort of drive with Cameron that I think is is lacking in most mortals, and um, his attention to detail is quite something as well. You know, he's he he is across all of his shows. He knows who is he knows who is in them he's not afraid to give notes to people if he feels like they're not doing what he wants them to do and i suppose the success of his shows would lead you to believe that that those notes are worth are worth taking um he's certainly given me notes in the past and i've and i've um and i've listened to him because there's not many people probably who've seen many many more shows or spent more nights at the theater or who have made a success of being in the world of theatre than he has, you know, I think we're, we um, will struggle to, to, because of the lie of the land, I suppose, you know, it, it, I guess in the 80s, theatre was ripe for, for someone like Cameron or for someone like Andrew to sort of um, become a figure like they have become. I think it would be hard for people to sort of become that these days for various reasons, but... Um, yeah, I have a great deal of, of admiration and respect for him, and uh, I um, he's asked me to come and do a couple of things in the last couple of years. Uh, I won't say what, but it hasn't worked out for one reason or another, and I feel a sense of I feel a sense of sorrow with that actually, because I would love to work with him again, but um, you know, sometimes you, you can't. These things don't match up. These these. Mm -hmm. These things don't align, but uh, hopefully one day something will align.